Do you ever feel that life is just way too overwhelming? Do you ever feel like life just gets in the way? Or how everyone else makes it look so easy and you just can't figure it out? All the time. And if this sounds like you, then grab a seat, get a cup of joe or a glass of Merlot, and join the two broads from Boga as we discuss life and those taboo topics that you only talk about behind closed doors. It is time to open those doors, embrace yourself, and take your power back. So give us a call at 888-565-1470 and ask those unspoken questions. Or simply just share an idea. We are the two broads from Boca and we are live, 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 coming to you live from Boca <laughs> Vuitton. <laughs> We're back. Is that like a whole singing little thing? Yes, I felt like singing this evening. I left my mug home. I just want everyone to know. And Zephyr Hills, if you're watching, you better sponsor us. That's all I'm saying. See, Zephyr Hills, Zephyr Hills. Um, I will call them tomorrow. But anyway, <laughs> so what's new, Dawny? You were inspired by Carol Burnett. Okay. I got to tell you, it's been a big week. Tell Summer. Me. Even though we're in Florida, summer in August is back to school. Shut so, up, Dawn. Traffic is insane. It used to take me maybe 15 minutes to get here. Yeah. It's a good 30. You have to add that extra. There's no cushion time anymore. Let me just say something. My children are still not back at school. They go back to school on Monday. And now there's a hurricane supposedly yes, there, coming. No, but, no, no. It's a tropical that, storm. We're good. Whatever it is, it's, we're all good. I'm sure they'll delay the opening yet again. And I will have to hang myself. I am a mother that always likes her children home. But this summer does not end. It's My not kids ending. are gone. They came five weeks. Yeah, okay. My daughter went back to work. My son went back to school. We're really empty care. nesters I don't really again. I care for you right now. Yeah, but wait. <laughs> I've got a 12-year-old dog. That my, here's how it goes in oh, my please. house. You're going to compare a dog to two oh, no, teenage wait, boys. My husband I'll gets up you. in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom, and my dog gets up in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom. Then what happens? Oh, I have to get up to let the dog out, and then what? They all go back to sleep. No, I will tell and it's you. It's three fifty-five, and I'm and looking you're at the clock. She called me. No, I will I tell you. About my it. family was very good to me yesterday. I did not feel well. I was quite under the weather. I had a sore throat and an ear thing and oh. everything. We went it, to some yucky place this weekend. Oh, dear Lord. Lord, Lord. Do not do not ever take your children from a professional nurse point of view, nurse practitioner, do not take your children to the water park. They get sick. Uh, <laughs> disgusting. You know the only but, thing worse than the water park? The what? ball pits. That Remember is, the, it's the same little, thing with those water. Ball Never left them in a Burger ball pit. King? Never did a ball pit. Just but a germ This fest. is ball pit with water. And after <laughs> 11 o'clock, <laughs> let me just say, after 11 o'clock in the morning, it's very different. Because it's uh, half price. It's dicey. Right? That's all yeah, I can yeah. say. I have never seen so much smoking. It's a non-smoking place. I've never seen so much smoking and tattoos on women who should not be wearing <laughs> bikinis than I did this weekend. And I don't wear a bikini. I wear a coat. But I'm just saying, this was it was so bad. It was just so bad. So, and then he got, my little one got sick and I got sick and then... um. My big one will get sick probably Monday morning at 6.15 when we're all getting up to go well, to school. Well, don't worry because we're going to have a tropical storm. So no one's getting up. Yeah, it's <laughs> it's going to be a rain day. I'm mm -hmm. going to hang myself on Monday if there is no school. That's all I'm saying. That's oh, all I'm saying. Oh, it'll be fun. So anyway, let's talk about what's have, going on here today. Oh, my gosh. We have out of the mommy zone, we've got two fabulous moms with us. Yes, we do. And but, they're very pretty, aren't they? And they're with Joe DiMaggio Children's Hospital. So we are so excited to have Joe D as part of our world as the two broads into our family world into our outreach to everybody there to our community because there is no place better my personal opinion to care for your children than the physicians and the staff at Joe DiMaggio Children's Hospital and Memorial yes because what they offer is more than a doctor it's more than a nurse what they offer is a continuum of care from your child from birth through 17 and then into the Memorial Healthcare System. And personally, they have an amazing pediatric intensivist that saved my son's life 21 years ago, that I will be forever indebted. And as a mom, there is nothing more that you want than someone to care for your child. Absolutely. And to save their life. So we I am forever indebted to this doctor. <laughs> and it is this amazing physician that actually brought us back together 21 years later there so the universe does work in amazing ways it's so true. thank you and i also want to say i have had a personal experience at joe dimaggio with my son um and the con the continuity of care and the consistency of the care that he received speaking as a nurse professional um was quite impressive mm -hmm. so it almost made me want to have another child yeah. <laughs> so, um, i want you guys to introduce yourselves though okay 
You I'm are? Melissa Jones, Director of Patient and Family Center Care at Joe DiMaggio Children's Hospital. Okay, and Michelle? I am Michelle Barone, and I am Director of Patient and Family Center Care for the Memorial Healthcare System. So see, we have the children and we have the non-children section. <laughs> you, see, you see how that all goes together? So let's start with Alyssa. Let's start, mm-hmm. tell us a little bit about Joe D. as a hospital, which is... Not a Mr. Whole, Coffee and not the baseball player. A whole player. show in of itself is <laughs> right. what tell us about. Exactly. But just a little bit about some of your highlights. Joe DiMaggio is an incredible hospital. It's the largest children's hospital in Broward County. We have over 600 board certified specialists uh, here at the hospital. We have um, multiple departments that care for our children, such as pediatric oncology, pediatric cardiac transplant program. We're starting a, a pediatric kidney transplant program. We're just growing because of the needs of our community. It's growing. Excellent. Yeah. So it's an amazing, an amazing place to be. And the doctors there treat the children, the doctors, the staff, everyone treats the children like their their own kids. So you're part of the family center at Memorial. Mm-hmm. So what's the difference between what you do and what you do? Michelle, go ahead. Okay, you tell us. So, first of all, um, the patient and family centered care is. I should. Amy, can you need to yes. share your mic? Share. <laughs> share. We're sharing. Hi, we're sharing. So pretty. <laughs> <laughs> so the um, Department of Patient and Family Center Care is really a philosophy of care. Um, it's not an actual place. Um, so we. It's the office. Mm -hmm. Um, And basically what patient family center care is, is we make sure that the patients and the families are made to feel that they're partners in their care, um, that they're part of the treatment team, that they um, are given all of the information that they're needed, um, that that is needed, and um, that they're included in rounds. They're at bedside at all times. Um, Bedside shift report, I'm sure you can relate to uh, that thought. And no visitation and no visiting hours. So if you're a family... That and means you can visit any, at any time. time versus right. no time. Right. Now, church groups, football teams, police departments, they need, they should probably go at home at nine so that the families can <laughs> actually right. get rest and the patients can heal, which is, you know, part of what we're about. Um, our mission statement is heal the body, mind, and spirit of all that we touch. So that's very important to us that we create this um, environment of healing. And Um, that is very important for patients. Absolutely. It decreases anxiety Mm -hmm. and it promotes healing. So I think that that's something very positive. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Because you you can't separate mind, body, and spirit. It's one and the same. Mm -hmm. And what I love so much, and Amy and I were talking about, is how you work with the families as a unit. Because it's the family advocacy that's so critical. Right. Right. And you're treating the families. Exactly. Well, that's the whole thing. And I think people need to understand that even though... The misnomer is the pediatric hospital. It's really not because you don't just treat the patient. Right. You treat holistically. It's and that family. is their environment and that is whom they deal with. So it's right. a, it encompasses everything. And that that is the key to, to successful right. care and successful outcomes. Right. So and back to the question, which was how does it bridge the gap between the pediatric world and the adult world? It really doesn't. It, I mean, it bridges the gap, but it, there's no there's difference. There's no gap. Right, exactly. Yeah. There's no difference because Seamless. when we're sick... We are all children, right? We all act like kids. Men more than men. Especially my husband, but yeah. (laughs) Sorry, honey. (laughs) So we all want the same things and we want to be taken care of and we want to be included in our care. And so it's so important that we understand that it doesn't matter if you're, you know, three or if you're 23 or 53 or 73, 83, you still want the same type of care. Right. So there's no gap, which is so important Mm -hmm. for everyone to understand. And it's a seamless transition. So the families move. The children, they're 18. They're still kids. And we were talking mm-hmm. about this. Right. You know, back in the day <laughs> when we were kids, 18, 20, we were getting married. We were having kids. You know what? Some I of think us were. Some 21, of us were. 23, you're still kids. Mm-hmm. You always Absolutely. need that. And even as an adult, you need that family support always. I think we mm-hmm. need to clarify for our listeners that patients till 21 are seen by, can be seen by their pediatrician. So right. I think that that's important. Right. However, I think I, what I would like you to stress is to explain, particularly for certain diagnoses that are either genetic or chronic, mm-hmm. how, do you, how, can, how do we transition our, the, the pediatric environment into the non-pediatric or adult environment? Mm-hmm. That's something that you guys... So this has been a humongous passion of mine. I have two kids. They've crossed that that little gap area. Um, and so they're 21 and 23. And so we've had this situation of how do we do it? Now they're not, they don't have chronic illness, but it's something that still needs to be, um, you know, dealt with. So 
what we do is we have now um, added a transition navigator. Um, and Holland's out there. Hi, Holland. Nice. And <laughs> Holland, I love what you do, and we want to discuss that. <laughs> so what we're doing is we're working with our kids from the ages of 16 and up and starting to prepare them and engage them in um, their own medical care and pharmacy, you know, can they call in their medications? Do they know their medications? Do they know their illness? What do they have? Do they know who their doctors are? And so now we're trying to engage them um, and empower them with the information that that they need. I love it too. And then that way, then we can start talking to them about, okay, you're getting close, you're 18, we need to start talking about those adult physicians. And so then we can work with them and kind of guide them. Some of them need hand-holding. Um, today, Holland went and, and she helped a family and, and it was a great experience because she went with them. Right. And just to briefly let you guys know, a patient navigator in, in, in really helps patients not only achieve appropriate care, but navigates them through transitions into the community as well. So that's really important. So they stay healthy in their community, not being readmitted to the hospital, not look, not utilizing resources uh, inappropriately. So that's a really, because it does empower your patient. And I think that's really important. And the family, because they help the family navigate things as well. So I think navigation is very, very cool mm-hmm. and very important, particularly in today's healthcare system. And what situation. I love is how you're opening the communication. So our platform here is about opening the lines of communications, mm-hmm. opening those tough topics, those uncomfortable topics. I've got a sick child, no one wants to be my friend topics, all those things that you all see and hear. And that's what we try to do is we try and bring people out from where you are and into the community and say, you know what, let's share these. Let's open the communication and say, someone has everything. But we're going to go to break and then we're going to have another question. And (laughs) please call in if you can, 1-888-565-1470. Is your child's tablet time greater than engaged activity time? Are you seeking better wellness strategies for your family? Do you want to redefine what your family's quality time looks like? At New Dawn Health Solutions, we focus on the four pillars of health coaching, lifestyle, exercise, attitude, and nutrition to create a balanced approach to wellness. Together, we will open the conversation with you and your children on ways to empower healthy eating, increase physical activity, and set goals. Let's talk about the issues that are important to your family's health. Give New Dawn Health Solutions a call at 561-901-2854 or email us at dawn at newdawnhealthsolutions.com. This portion of our show has been sponsored by Edelman, Barron & Schreibman, MDPA, board-certified physicians in pulmonary critical care and sleep medicine. Offices are conveniently located in Boca Raton and Delray Beach, Florida, 561-488. Two nine eight eight. Hey, 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 grab your glass of Merlot or your cup of coffee. And if you want to join in on the fun, give us a call at 888-565-1470. Let's rejoin the two broads from Boca. Hey, welcome back. In our excitement, I forgot to tell you that you can find us live streaming on two yeah. broads from Boca on Facebook. You can also find us on your iHeartRadio app, 1470. Or as I paddle my boat, my family says... You can find us on our website at www two number two broadsfrompoca.com. And we're here with Michelle Barone and Alyssa Jones with Joe DiMaggio Children's Hospital and Memorial Healthcare System talking about health care and your family needs. And we have a caller on the phone. We have Nancy. Nancy, are you on the air? Hi, Nancy. Hi. Hi, John. Hi, Amy. Hey. And um, hello, esteemed guest. Uh, <laughs> hello, Amy. I, I, somebody sent me a link. <laughs> And I got to watch this. Girls, you are wonderful. And oh, thank, thank you. you. Um, Thanks. Amy, I haven't seen you since Preston High School. Oh, Jesus. Oh. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, I have, unfortunately, I have a 26-year-old uh, special needs son. And this is a very important uh, issue for me. What's your question, unfortunately, Nancy? Unfortunately, I moved to New Jersey. And at the age of 19, he was dropped out of uh, Children's mm-hmm. Specialized Hospital. He is literally in the public health system now. It is horrific, and there is no follow-through. And in New Jersey, we have what's known as DDD. I don't know if that is compatible with Florida. What is DDD? Uh, DDD is Disabled uh, Developmental Disabilities. Okay. It is... Like SSDI, maybe? I have no help. 
I do everything on my own, and I feel what this Joe DiMaggio uh, transition team, especially that's what I'm calling about, is so lacking throughout the United States, and this is so important, and this should be an outreach for all 50 states. Oh, and definitely. That's just what I want to say. I want oh, to thank, thank you. For thank you, Nancy. Nancy. I, I absolutely praying. agree with you. I'm sorry that's that you've had that experience. It. Thank Thanks. you so much, yes. Nancy. Thanks, Nancy. And thank you uh, for whoever sent me the link to see you girls. You're doing a wonderful job. Oh, thank, thank you. you. That women. is our mission is to and get the information God out. You. Thank you so much. Go thank PHS. you. High school. So your transition program is so amazing. And I know you have so many new events coming up for the end of 2016, 2017. So if you could share with our p listeners so they know what's coming up, what they can look forward to for well, fun. Well, our, mm -hmm. one of our, uh, we have many events coming up and we recommend you guys uh, check us out on Facebook and check out our website and because we post all of our well, give us that, events. Give us, well, obviously the you. Facebook page is www.jdch.com. J-D-C-H, Joe DiMaggio's Children Hospital. Okay. That's, that's your, dot com. Yes. That's your that's website. The website. Yes, and, and Facebook, Facebook, Joe DiMaggio Just, Children's Hospital. Okay, that's so what do you have coming up, say, in the next 30 to 60 days? We have our um, community open house. for It's our Halloween community open house ah. on October 29th. This is Saturday. <laughs> And we just, it's open for everyone to come and have fun. We have bounce houses and pumpkin patch, and we have all sorts of really fun <coughs> Let's games go. for Wanna the go? families. Yeah, go. We We're bring there. our families. Um, so, uh, Michelle, what time does that start? One o'clock. Thank you. One o'clock <laughs> on the 29th. <laughs> and you. it's on what campus? At Joe DiMaggio in Hollywood, Florida. Joe okay. DiMaggio Children's Hospital. We have right. another caller, Beth. We have Beth on the line. Hi, Beth. <laughs> Beth. Hi. Beth. Hi, Beth. <laughs> Hi, guys. Hi, Beth. Hi, Beth. <laughs> How you doing? I'm calling to declare my love. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us why. What is your, who is your love or what is your love for? Oh, I can't even explain my love for Alyssa and Michelle. Aww. They have been there for me in the hardest part of my life. And I could never thank the two of them enough. I'm oh going to try gosh. not to cry. We love Aww. you, Beth. Right. That's awesome. So did That's they take care story. of your children or what's a little bit about your story? Um, my son was four in February 2012 and all of a sudden he stopped walking mm -hmm. and we rushed to the hospital and uh, he's actually coming to tell me that he's watching right now. Oh, hi, Erin. Uh, hi, Erin. Hi, uh, baby. Um, <laughs> he's telling me I'm, my timing is off, I guess. Oh, um, you can't. Anyways. You're talking, and what he's seeing is different. So you just keep talking right. to us. That's, okay. That's why I walked away from him, but he, he didn't get that point. No. Um, <laughs> we need both the way vision. Uh, so he uh, had an MRI at Joe's. It was the only hospital in Broward we would trust. Um, they saw a tumor on his spine and rushed him and got an amazing team together on a Saturday <laughs> night. And uh, they removed about 90% of the tumor, and he had mm -hmm. to be admitted. We stayed. Our first day at the hospital was 32 days. Wow. And he had to go through 14 rounds of chemo, and we had to go to Jacksonville and do proton beam radiation mm -hmm. for six weeks, and then came back. And he is actually three and a half years clean. Yay! Yay! For four in October. That's the best and news. It's they have become a part of my family. I can totally remember being on the oncology floor for the first time and Michelle walking in and telling me that it was like walking through the desert and I may have to keep my eyes down, but take it one step at a time. And when I get to the other side, I'll be able to look back and think, how did I do that? Wow, and that's an amazing totally story. True. I have to tell you, totally. I call them angel bums, but just hearing your story, mm -hmm. but your outcome is so incredible. And it's just so... As you were, were all sitting here, we were all here talking in our green room hallway and everyone who walked out from the station, oh my gosh, let me tell you this about Joe D. And yeah. if I can tell you what they did for my child or my grandchild, we could literally do a show of just people right. with amazing stories about Joe D. Dawn and I both have had right? children that have had been significantly ill and were treated at Joe DiMaggio and with very positive outcomes, fortunately. Um, and I think as a health professional, it's really important when you look at your peers and your colleagues and you know that with every fiber of their being, they are invested in you and your child and you can feel safe 
and you can feel safe that your child is there. That is a very big issue. And as you know, nurses and physicians are very critical of with whom they trust their children with. So how can they, since we're about three minutes left, how, I want to make sure everyone can find you guys. Yes. So we have your website. If you could just give us all that information again and mm-hmm. perhaps a phone number, mm-hmm. if there's a like general, a like number. an outreach mm-hmm. number to find both of you. Mm-hmm. So the, the main number for patient and family center care is 954-265-3000. Nice, easy to remember. Okay, can you do that um, again slower? 954 <laughs> 265 3000 uh, and you can get in touch with Alyssa and I any of our listeners that may be past patients and families we want you to get involved as well we have family advisory councils that we include in all of our uh, decision making they help us with brochures they're an amazing group uh, we have 80 across the entire system wow um, we each hospital has a, a council so we really listen to our patients and families um, and so we, we want everyone to get involved and we want you to remember that, you know, we may be the hospital in Broward, but we're basically in your backyard um, to the Palm Beach users as well. Mm-hmm. And you have um, a few locations. We actually mm-hmm. correct? do, yes. So yeah. where are you growing. based out of? We're, we're here in Boca. We have several different practices um, in Boca. Uh, really? we ha- See, I don't mm-hmm. think people know that. Right, right. And we're growing. We're continuing to grow. There's a need in Palm Beach. And, um, you know, many of our families have to drive so far to come to us. And they'll do it, you know, because of the care and everything. But we want to try to make it a little bit easier for them. So we are so growing. So you're Boca. You're where else? Where are your satellites or where Broward are you located? County, um, but you have a few locations in Broward, don't you? You have Joe D. Right. We have Joe D. And then we have some of the uh, off-site specialty offices yeah, in Miramar, Miramar. Um, in Weston as well. Yeah. So we're, we're So you're we're really growing. across the board and growing. Mm-hmm. So if you're in Palm Beach County, don't think that this is too far for you, right. that you can't get to Joe D. Because they have locations everywhere and they have satellite physicians that work with Joe DiMaggio directly. So you can go to your physician's office and then they have privileges at Joe D should you need it to get you to that family care, to get you to the family advocacy and to the right department. Mm -hmm. And we probably have two minutes left, but what are some of the specialties? I'm going to say you have every specialty, Mm -hmm. but that's pretty broad. So if we talk about pediatric specialties. We have uh, hematology oncology. We have an amazing, amazing group, hematology oncology. We have um, cardiology. We do pediatric cardiac transplants at the hospital. Mm -hmm. Can you imagine? Mm -hmm. What amazing is that, Amy? Right? That's my thing. Yeah, that's your thing. That's my big thing. Really? Yeah, I am. Not peds, though. I do adults because I cry with the peds. But pediatric cardiology transplant. That's that's rough. And just got approved for kidney. Kidney. For kidney for children and adults. There's huge need. Huge. Huge need. Huge. Huge. Yes. So we're able to do that. We're working on that. We have uh, neurosurgery. We have nephrology. We have endocrinology. We have multiple, multiple practices. I know that you have a very, very good genetics program, which is really important as well. And do you work with, we're talking about mind, body, spirit. Well, this is body. What about mind? What about cognitive, psychology, psychiatrist, mental illness? All of that. We've actually just added a medical director, um, and he is fabulous. Um, He came from New York. Uh, <laughs> um, and he is absolutely wonderful. He has uh, got a lot of great ideas and he is uh, getting us motivated and um, to expand the program, um, pediatric, and then we'll work into the adult world as well. Amazing. Um, and we're working into, we're, we're growing into the integrative uh, therapy. Wow. So mm-hmm. aromatherapy, Reiki, <sighs> love, love. So then that takes you to, yeah. Yeah. Music holistic, therapy. music, music therapy. therapy. So that takes you mm-hmm. into the spirit side of it. Right. So we really right. address, and I'm so glad we absolutely got to touch everything. on that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. the spirit side of it because that's so important is the emotional and the spiritual what not religion no and you right. have that yeah. too but just your spirit just what's healing from the well, inside that's part of who you are as a as a person and if that is is shattered or if that is broken that needs to be fixed as well mm-hmm. that helps with healing right. so we are ready to i want i want to make sure we get about the phone number again One more time. and your website okay uh, jdch.com Joe um, Children's Hospital. Dot net mm-hmm. and uh, the phone number is 954-265-3000 awesome thank you ladies thank, thank you, you michelle thank, thank you, you Alyssa. thank you thank, thank you, thank you, you Dawn. JD. thank you for Lourdes. <laughs> thank you for thank you Dawn. <laughs> And we just <laughs> next week. Um, we are. What are we doing next, next week? We have a crazy from our person. Community. He's amazing. He works with children on the field and in music. So you want to tune in again? 
You can watch us if you missed it. Yes. Live. Live, live. Recorded. Live. Yes. Facebook to Bras from Boca. And we'll see you next week. See same you time, next same place. Ciao. See ya. Bye. Bye. You've been hanging with the two broads from Boca. If you have gained some confidence or an idea to create a better day, then we have made a difference. Join us every Wednesday night at 7 p.m. on WWNN. Give us a call. Feel inspired as we continue to open those doors and have some fun. The opinions expressed on the preceding sponsored program were strictly those of its hosts, guests, and callers, and not necessarily those of this station, its staff, management, or sponsors.